but would you mind introducing us, um, introducing yourself, and Absolutely. Then what you do, and then a little bit about Amplify? Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. And your shirt sounds good in I'm here. Sure. Sure. So loud. Yeah. I could tell you the technical bits, but I'm sure. No, it's cool. We did it in a windstorm <laughs> in you. BC, walking through a vineyard. These I are thought, incredible. I there's no mics. way this is going to pick up anything. Oh my and god! It did. No the wind. sound was so good. No wind. I, 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 I thought he was farting around with it. I could cut the window. Are these like thousand dollar mics? Nope. I don't know. That's not even. Story. Not even close. I have like a thirty dollar Amazon clip yeah, on, no. just because it has a nice fuzzy. Yeah. And these are they're not cheap. They're five hundred bucks. Yeah. But um, they use something called thirty-two bit. No, relax. <laughs> Repair. <laughs> I was like, are you Repair. in charge of the finances? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? No, that's me too. So it's oh, fun. Shit. Um, but they have what they call thirty-two bit um, okay. recording technology. Yeah. When you have that, what it does is it records a really wide spectrum. Yeah. And then it allows you to narrow it down to just the Love. the vocal bands. Yeah. Very cool. So I think that winery. It was so windy. It was windy, and I think there was only one moment when we turned to like walk straight into the wind yeah. that you could hear a bit of crackle. Yeah, yeah. But barely. That's it. But that's it. And then awesome. it went barely. away. Barely. Like it sounded like we were walking in a clear summer day, but it was like. And we're almost yelling, well, like, right? Because yeah. it was windy. Like it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was windy. Yeah. Period. It was yeah. just windy. Um. Do you want to like prep me with any questions, or do you think nope. we're good just to go? No. Light awesome. it up. You're already on. Let's go. Love it. Yeah. Um. So, gentlemen, <laughs> my name. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh no, that's fine. I'm gonna keep it. Thank you. <laughs> Told you it was gonna happen. <laughs> Everything past this stays. <laughs> okay, good. So, gentlemen, <laughs> my name is Sarah Benetta O'Brien. I am the founder of the Hands By Company here in Prince Edward Island. We're based out of Borden Carlton, which is like a minute away from the Confederation Bridge that okay. links PEI to the mainland. Um, and we make savory personal pies in the tradition of the Cornish pasty from the UK. But with local ingredients. Cool. Yeah. That's I think why so. I picked it. So what's a, what's <laughs> personal? Like, is this personal? Is that personal? This is personal. About? They weigh just over half a pound each. Oh, so they're good size. They're a good size. Yeah. I'm trying to help figure out how much I'm going to eat on Thursday. Do I not have <laughs> oh, a I'm breakfast? Taking some on the plane. If you eat two, you need a nap. I'm flying. That's cool. Like, you'll be all set. Yeah. Eat all one over. right away. Take the second for the flight and use it to bribe security because they all know who we are. If, if you need a bribe for I'm security. All over it. <laughs> so I'm going to take three. Need, uh, one for yeah. security and one for See if you can grease the wheels and get home fast. Oh, and then I got to get, you know, you a flight try. attendant to warm it up. Yeah. I need four. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Just keep going. Just give me a half sack. It's all good. Maybe <laughs> the cab That's driver amazing. too. I don't know. Thank and you. And how long have you been running him? So we've been strictly hand pies and being known as the hand pie company since 2017. All right. In 2018, we moved into our Pie Bank location, um, which is in Albany that you'll be seeing on Thursday. And in 20, in November 2023, we got into our CFIA licensed food manufacturing space in Borden. So yeah, a little bit of the company history there. So why this? Yeah, why this? Why not? Why not? <laughs> what, what did you do before <laughs> this? Were you God. a chef? Like you're bored one day? Like you, said, oh, you know what? We need a I'm never pie. bored. <laughs> So I'm a Red Seal chef by trade. I okay. cook back and forth across the country. Um, I ended up coming to Prince Edward Island because they offered an applied degree in culinary operations. Okay. They were the first culinary school in Canada to offer that. I came here, I met a boy with the worst mustache I've ever seen in my life, and he actually still has it right now. Um, and he was an islander, so that kind of locks me into PEI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, my entrepreneurship story is that when we move back to PEI to settle down and you know have our family, there's no year-round job options for somebody with my training here. So I had to explore, you know, my own adventure and and create the thing that I wanted to work in. So that's when I first started Skates. It was a local seasonal restaurant, uh, very tiny. It was all takeout. Pan pies were on the menu. Um, and then they just got more and more popular from there. Is that because, does it pretty much die in the off season here? Like or quiet down like really? It's my, I'm telling you, the cab driver told me, he goes, I, he goes, like I guess within the next month, he said basically It'll it, 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 it's done. In the summer, I think it's PEI's population triples. Yeah, he was telling me something like it's insane. Yeah. Oh, so, so really in the summer it's time, the winter. It's, it's amazing. We have lineups out the door at our, at our facility. Um, but then 
that's kind of why I got into more frozen food manufacturing. All year. So that, yeah, we could keep all our year. staff all year round and provide these good um, <coughs> jobs in food manufacturing. <laughs> Wow. Much more sustainable that way. Wow. Yeah. wow. Okay. And then why, so why, why hand this? Like, why this? <laughs> so, I'm a huge nerd. Okay. And before Outlander was a TV show, it's a book okay. series. Yes. And there's a chef in the west coast of Canada um, on Pender Island. She's since moved east, but she made a cookbook based on all the foods mentioned in the Outlander book series. Okay. I'm a huge That's Outlander serious. nerd. That's That's amazing, actually. <laughs> And uh, so my husband gave me this cookbook for Christmas. I was laid off that winter. Um, my son was still quite young. And there's a recipe in the book called Brianna's Brideys. Bridey is a Scottish name for a yes. hand pie. Yeah. I decided to make it with all PEI ingredients. So go to the farmer's market. I got PEI butter, PEI flour. The first one I made was PEI pork and potatoes and even PEI whiskey in that exact recipe. That's awesome. And as soon, my husband's a trained chef as well. As soon as we took our first bites, our eyes almost fell out of our heads. We were like, how is nobody doing this? This is the perfect food to represent the island that's not seafood. Um, so how, why is nobody doing it? You guys have all the stuff. Because now I'm doing it. Now she owns it, damn it. That's true. I'm trying to understand the island. I've only been here once before oh my goodness. for a weekend and you actually stayed in this hotel it's bizarre i know you need to get out and see the rest of pei I'm, it's I'm so glad. beautiful but i'm trying to understand so yeah like so outside of seafood like like wouldn't this be the logical a hundred percent logical food group like what well, this would be one do you think like well, why, why do you think hand pies would be you the... know why because i think it's a, i think it's one of those things because if you've got like if you got some of the meats and if you have the butters and yeah. if you have the flowers and you have the root vegetables and all those things that it's go such into a comfort like to me food. it seems so English for lack of a better yes. you want the English sister. <laughs> but it seems to be that hardy peasant rural. No, but that could be a stew food. though. It could be a this, stew. But a stew, right? this is this a stew, stew in a pie. In a pastry. That makes no, no listen, sense. No, listen, listen. I'm a meat pie guy. I've, I'm like, well, that's what I'm thinking. You know, like, my, my dad grew up um, working for British Petroleum. Yeah. So like all, I, all I understand like my wife, who's Chinese Filipino, is yeah. always like, "How are you so white? Right? Like, why are you so white? Like, you're yellow on the outside and totally white on the inside. Because if there's leftovers, I'm putting it in a sandwich, not yes. with right. rice or any, you know. But like a meat pie to me, it makes sense. It's like one of the most like, glorious yeah. things it's ever, it's right? Perfect. And she's always like, "Really? But please tell me you still pie? have like lumpia and pancit. Like, like you still have Filipino oh, yeah, no, food? No, no, no. Okay, good. Listen, <laughs> Filipino food is like." Yes. Oh my God! Like we make adobo at home. We make. I'm trying to get him Love. to like have chicharron, like all of these sort of yes. things. Like yes. What's that one? Yeah, it's the crackling pig. But chicharron is, is Mexican too. I know. Everybody's got a chicharron. No, no, no. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> knows that. Who does fried pork fat? <laughs> no, no. The, anyway, anyway, anyway. Pork, but, fried pork but fat. meat pies is like. See, meat pies to it's, me it's a is thing. totally it's glorious, it. right? I just don't. See, Does I associate it, it with PEI? everybody here. I would think on the with rock PEI everywhere. ingredients. Okay, all right. Okay. Well, like seriously, I'm really not PEI argue has that much, huge, cause... obviously potatoes. Yeah. yeah. But PEI beef. So the the Atlantic Canada's only federally inspected beef plant is in Albany, where we are. Oh. So our beef gets delivered from like three minutes away, and it's already federally certified. We have seriously the best beef, the best potatoes, the best butter um, from ADL there who also makes cow's butter which is internationally famous and 40 percent of the flour we use is local heritage grain organic red fife wheat 12 minutes away it's grown and milled by wow. my farmer kathy okay. we, may, we may be taking a 12 pack home now. <laughs> oh, i'm taking a 12 i don't know what you're doing but i'm taking a 12 pack home. i'm like i'm very excited like i picked i picked your store for a reason right I like, love like it. oh my god like yeah <laughs> Yeah, really, we're, we're a true taste of PEI. I'm really excited for you guys to try I'm this. I'm really excited to try this. I, I really am. I, I love, like, Good. seriously, we can add, like, a pastry, yeah. meat, potatoes, you can't go any wrong. type of sauce. Like, where are you going? Yeah. My lesson's supposed to have a chicken in the mind. <laughs> I, I love food like that. Like, it's just so awesome. uh, ingrained. Yeah. You know, the, um, in Toronto, we, we don't have a lot of meat pies, period. And there was a little bakery uh, near us called the Hot Oven. Yeah. And they used to make like mincemeat pies, just basic yeah. mincemeat pies. And my dad, who used to take us there when we were kids. So when I was dating my wife, yeah. I took her there. I'm like, this is going to be a week of And I, like, she was just like. She didn't get it? You, 
it's still in the tinfoil. Like, I don't understand. Like, and I'm like, it's hot, it's in the tinfoil. Like, yeah. that's the beauty of it. We cheap little plastic fork yeah, exactly. and you eat it. Use your fingers. It's like, but liquidy golden and crispy on the top. Like, what's the genius? Have you tried like, the pie commission? Yeah, now I have, yeah. Because now they're around. Because they were for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, the Jamaican patty history in Toronto is so solid. Yeah. yeah. Jamaicans in Toronto are, like, Killer. Amazing. Jamaican yeah. patties are one that, are, like, I will not try to imitate that in a hand pie because it's so good. I'm not messing with that tradition. Oh, I think I should mess with it. <laughs> no, I think you should oh, mess I with it. Oh, I think you know what? what? Just call it a different thing. I think you should mess with that in <laughs> What is, wait, wait, so what are, what are the biggest flavors? Like, what, what do people love them? For hand pies? So, yeah. yeah. In our Albany shop, we have 18 different savory oh. flavors and nine so different we have to sweet get flavors. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna have to ship you some. But I can give you like the ranking <laughs> if you need to narrow it down. But in our production facility, we make 13 okay. for dist- for wider distribution. And the top sellers are bacon cheeseburger, chicken pot pie, barbecue pulled pork, curry chickpea. Oh, see, you're almost taco. there. You yeah. got the East Indian thing going. What's the big deal? Just go West ah, Indian. You better yeah. phone them ahead and say, hey, listen, these guys are hungry. Because <laughs> all, pre- all we're going to eat in the morning is I'll cheese prepare now. them. Because <laughs> I'm eating the cheese. Yeah, because we're going to have cheese. cheese. Yeah. Those cheese curds yeah. are the best thing. Oh, I'm, I'm right. going for the cheese. Okay. And, and just for the people listening at home, that's Metsier from Squeakies. <laughs> the best cheese curds on PEI. Come on. Hey. Yeah. We love it. No. I'm excited. Awesome. That's so I'm amazing. excited. So, so they're carrying all through, obviously, the island. Yes. And New Brunswick, Nova Scotia. Yes. And New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, we really just got certified to start shipping off island in uh, July of this year. So since July, we kind so of... So you're federally certified? Like it, means, yes. Right. So you can go now countrywide. Yeah, because we're going to be a step, yeah, yeah. but you can go. That's a big deal. She can get to Ontario. For meat, Ontario, dairy, and egg, Ontario. it's huge certification. Just jump on Ontario. <laughs> one plane trip. Oh, come on, fast. man. You guys go like, there, and then they're like, oh, they're going to drive you guys in nuts. Toronto. That's twice the amount of people in all of BC. Like, whatever. They're not oh, going to appreciate on. it as much. And do you know the population of PI is 170,000 yeah, people? Yeah, we know. So that's, that's how I grew the company, right, is within those borders. And it's amazing. I yeah. guess that, that's yeah. incredible in its own. It's pretty yeah. awesome. To hit a million dollars in sales like here is a really big deal. That's massive. And we hit that like yeah. three years ago. Well, good for you. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of hand so pies. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Thursday. So am I. Yeah. If you're going to not eat anything on that, well, the cheese eggs we have to eat. No, I don't the know. cheese. Not, yeah. Just so that cheese and we hold See? up some meat. There's yes. a method to my madness. Like, you yeah. got it all figured yeah. out. As soon as I saw hand pie, I was like, I didn't care. We're going there. I didn't know that we were talking about. She doesn't about. want to film with us. Yeah, I saw it on the anyway. screen today. I think, yeah. hey, that's the people we're going to go. So I'm all over this one now. So, yes, so I sir. Was, and I was pushing Dwayne because I was trying to get cows. Yeah. The cows is notorious because they don't want to do interviews, right? They and I like, And then as soon as I got hand pie, I was like, I don't care. Come whatever. on. Cows, whatever. Yeah, we'll whatever. go buy some cows next year. Whatever. Whatever. Like, you I know, could connect you oh, with cows excited. if you need me to. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, we'll have but some But now maybe you don't have time for that. Not we'll, just, we'll do the pretty one with a big mistake. Yeah. <laughs> could have been us. Could have been you. Yeah, could have been you. <laughs> their hand pies is sick. This worked out better for us. I'm happy, happy. Awesome. Happy, happy. Yeah. Wow. Thanks so for what else would you like to talk about? No. What? Uh, okay, wait. So tell us what you want to do with this. So awesome. you, you clearly want to go... Want to go cross country? At least Ideally, Ontario. At least Ontario. I think that you know, right now we really hit our key points in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. Okay. Um, there's still tons of work to do within those provinces. Uh, we're really kind of expanded with the Sobeys market, bringing on more independence, bringing on more tap rooms. We're launching a pie and pine program with Propeller Brewing in Nova Scotia in a couple oh, of weeks. Oh, cool. Okay. And that'll be amazing, right? Like yeah. a hot hand pie in a cold pine. Come it's, on. A match made in UK heaven. Like your food service business would be a, a billion times bigger yeah. if we keep restaurants open. Yes, sir. Because <laughs> seriously, a beer and a and a pie? And having no, no, chef-led a manufacturing, a, a pub, a, pub, right? a tap yeah, room yeah, yeah. is Just our ideal like, environment. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's it's the, it's the safest of all the restaurant oh. you know, kind of formats. <laughs> it really, right? Like it's alcohol. Well, they, don't it's, close, you know, yeah, they don't seem to be struggling as much as others. Yeah, yeah. It's true. People seriously. still want that experience. Yeah, yeah, they do. Did you? A beer in a pub with a with a pie. Yes, sir. Oh, 
That's a lovely thing. We're going to crush it together. But that way, it's going to get a lot more folks in Nova Scotia trying our hand pies hot for the first time. And we're already in all of their grocery stores, so then they'll be able to find us on the grocery store shelves. That's kind of our model. Exactly. That's what food service is great for. Food service is wicked for that. For trial. Food service can, exactly, you don't have to do it yourself. Yep. And usually an environment that's just, yeah. the romance is even better. Like the whole <laughs> feel is, you know what I mean? People are so into it. And when you smell hot hand pies oh, in an, an environment like that, yeah, oh. they'll, they're going to sell out instantly. So you do do some fish ones though, right? Because you're on We DR. don't. We're actually a um, seafood really? and nut-free facility as a manufacturer. Oh, we're, I like that even We're more. one of the only safe places to eat on PEI Bless for people heart. with those allergies. Yeah, wow. peanut, fish, and eggs in my household. Oh, really? Yeah. Is, like, is it usually fish or so, is it so I, I think, I think my hand pie count just like tripled. Oh, you got nuts. They do have egg. Oh. That's okay. Um, okay. But That's I okay. have she some that are sold just in Albany that are vegan. So I have I have three uh, vegan options there that would be egg free as well. Okay. Okay. But everything we make is not in seafood free. See, I'm stopping at the boys' house on the way home in yeah. Ottawa, so I can get him a whole set of these. <laughs> you know what? You might as well. Your wife will be you might need to fly with like ice packs or. <laughs> well, it's, only like, it's only like ninety minutes. So if I get it before I go, it'll yeah, be it'll be fine. You know what? Just we'll leave it out. Leave it outside. Right outside the airport. It's not cold enough. Yeah, yeah. I think you're freaking her out a little. So you know what? We'll it's just, not we'll gonna figure it out. We'll, we'll For the record, out. I have very strict cold chain respect and adherence to food safety <laughs> record, regulations. Rules. So we're all on our own. It's not your fault. I hope you can zoom in on my rush face as I said that. Podcaster dies on plane. No. We've all eaten hamburgers and salads for hours. We'll live to so worry about it. It'll be, be worth it. It'll that. be worth it. Okay, so you want to go cross country? I do. And yeah, eventually. Do you, do you see you doing that, or do you see doing that with partners along the way? I'm open to exploring the options. I, you know, I've got us up to this point where it's entirely me leading yeah. production, leading yeah. my team, kind of controlling everything. Right. Um, because we're one of the furthest east places in Canada, we can probably satisfy the Ontario market yeah. with the facility that I have right yeah. now. But if we really take off there, if we want to expand our own if we want to have our own hand pie location for retail, yeah. we're going to need more production than we have capacity for. And then I would be open to a co co packing environment, a co manufacturing environment, um, based more centrally in Canada. Or you Just, open up okay. some in Alberta or Saskatchewan. Yeah. Land okay. is cheap. They'll yeah. just cheap. Like, you can't go to the West Coast. No. Because we're out of control with the prices. You have to, to as soon as you get to the mountains. Yeah, before mountains. Yeah, before right. the mountains. Yeah. 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 So if you can hit Calgary, yeah. like they just 80, 90, 100 miles. In any direction, right? Land's relatively cheap. Building's relatively cheap. Yeah, beef's good. It's not an island. <laughs> it's a You're lot close of restrictions. You're to those stupid mountains that, that stop most things coming from our way. Oh come on! Right? They're so beautiful, though. They're lovely. I was in Banff last weekend, actually. Because we complain oh, wow. about them, but we don't want them. We don't take them away. We like the separation. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're part of the rest of you, but we have our own space. Uh -huh. We have a block. Uh huh. Amazing. Oh, yeah, because yeah, we, we do. We get a lot of partners who watch this stuff, right? So, yeah, that way, hopefully, it helps you drive some interest. Thank well. you very much. Yeah, we're definitely, I use the COVID years to really kind of pull back the arrow on getting our packaging ready. Our, our 10 pack merchandiser box is also our shipper, um, as well as the individual um, packaging for each flavor. All of that was time used to get ready for this big retail launch. So they're individually packed, and they then are. in six, tens, twelves, in, whatever. In tens. So in the retail Solids environment, or even mixed. solid single okay. flavor. Okay. Single flavor ten packs. Um, but in our own retail environment, you can fully mix and match. Okay. Whatever, whatever I don't care like. what they do. <laughs> yeah. Right, because it's, it's easy peasy. You can judge according. You can make changes. You know, retail. Let's do. Yes. You don't want one skew because a four and four not selling, or a five and five. Right. And then what do you do with it? Eat it. Yeah, when they tell you, when they all send it back, right? That's, no. Yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. What's retail? Um, through Sobeys, eleven ninety nine. For how many? One. Yeah. Like, that's the half a pound. Wait till right? you try it's it. Half a pound. Oh, trust me, I'm all over this. <laughs> we're because we're we're a chef led team. Quality is first. We use only butter in our pastry. Um, no other kind of cheaper fats in there. We don't skimp on ingredients. 
So I position us as we're a restaurant replacement on your own schedule. You know, you can get a freezer stash of hand pies and you can air fry them in 17, 18 minutes and have this amazing comfort food, high quality meal at home. And a half a pound of food. It's the future of frozen foods, I strongly believe. Yeah, like you blow that and you go it. look like like yeah. right now. So there's five in my family, two are away at uni. Yeah. So with three at home, you could do three yeah. for 30 bucks. So you could be Absolutely. three for 30 and then Just make a when the youngest of... is old enough, we could give her a beer and then yeah, the three of us could have beer and a hand pie. <laughs> Swack of veggies or right. whatever you want. Yeah, you get yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah. Well, and we have a ton of vegetarian options too. So, like, you can uh-huh. totally <laughs> you can get your meat and veggies together inside the pie, but a side salad is that perfect. Was a vegetarian. Mm-hmm. It's all good. <laughs> I don't know if that's how that works. <laughs> In an Italian house, so you know, it's don't use too much. It's Amazing. Okay. It's almost vegan then. If you only use just a little, or just use the loin. Don't worry, it's, it's all good. Oh, it's like yeah. a vegetable. You're my new favorite. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Love it. That's it. Thank you for doing wow, awesome. awesome. Thank you very yeah. much for having for me. Yeah, this Killing is amazing. It, baby. Yeah. Killing it. Oh, yeah. guys. Am wow. I good to Yeah, yeah, okay. you're good. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. Oh, I am so fucking excited. Uh, I am really excited. <laughs>